Hello, in this video I will demonstrate a macro which can improve efficiency of adding mates to your assembly. This macro allows to select primary planes and origin using the shortcut. You have an option to enable primary planes for your top level assembly, but depending on your current view you might not see those planes until you zoom out, like in this case. You can also select the specific component and click that button again and in this case it's going to show the primary planes for this specific component. You can show primary planes for other component and select target planes and add mate between them. This could be quite a handy feature to streamline your mating, but as you can see it has few limitations. Furthermore, you might need to undo the primary planes at the end of your mating operations. Now let's go ahead and download the macro from CodeStack website, which allows to select front, right, top and origin using the shortcut. Let's navigate to this macro, scroll down and copy the code. Let's now activate SolidWorks and create new macro. You can specify any name for that macro and just paste the code in here. We can also download four icons which I'm going to use for my macro buttons. That one is for front, we also have one for top, right and origin. So let me select the destination folder and just download all of those icons. Of course you can use your own icons if you want. This macro can select one entity at a time, so if I want to select right plane, I need to specify that in corresponding value. So like in this case, I can just run the macro and right plane of main assembly is selected. If I go ahead and modify the parameters, I can select different plane. If I want to add macro buttons for this macro, I might need to make four copies of this macro for front, right, top and origin. But I'm going to use toolbar plus to host my macros and this allows me to pass arguments so I do not need to make multiple copies. Let's enable arguments by setting the args constant to true. I'm also going to set the value of append cell constant to true, so my selection is going to be appended and it's not going to conflict with my shortcuts. Now let's create buttons for each primary plane and origin using toolbar plus. I'm just going to create a new group here and call it features plus, and this is going to be a new toolbar in my SOLIDWORKS. I can drag and drop the macro in here and I can specify the name. Select top plane. I can optionally specify description and select an icon. So I already downloaded those icons, so just going to select top.svg. And I need to specify the argument, so in this case it's going to be a top. As I'm going to use arguments, I can use exactly the same macro for my next plane. So this is going to be right plane. I'm going to repeat the process and select new icon and specify right as an argument. Let's now do the same for my front plane. Ability to pass arguments to VBA macros, as well as using scalable vector graphics for icons, is an exclusive feature of Toolbar Plus. And this significantly simplifies the maintenance of your VBA macros. I'm just finishing with the last macro for selecting an origin. I can also specify some additional options, so for example, I can only enable this macro in part and assembly, as it is not going to work in drawings. After I set up my toolbar, I need to restart SOLIDWORKS. After SOLIDWORKS is restarted, there is a new menu available in SOLIDWORKS menu. There is also a new toolbar, so let's enable it. And now let's customize our keyboard and assign shortcuts to our front, top, right planes and also origin. I'm going to use Shift plus F, Shift plus T, Shift plus R and Shift plus O correspondingly. Now we can use shortcuts to select primary planes. But this macro also allows to select primary planes of components and you just need to hover your mouse over any entity of the component and click shortcut to select its primary plane. Now I'm going to press Shift plus O to select origin and you can see the origin of the component is selected. If I move mouse away of the component and click select origin button or shortcut, the origin of the main assembly is selected. Now as two of my origins selected, I can go ahead and click mate command to add a coincident relation between those entities. Let's continue and add more mates. So now let's mate this component. I'm going to hover my mouse, click shift plus F to select front plane, 
move my mouse away, click Shift plus F to select a front plane of main assembly and click Add Made command. Let's make other components, so hover the mouse, Shift plus F, Shift plus F, Add Made, let's look another component, same thing, Shift plus F, move mouse away, Shift plus F, Add Made. And finally, let's make this component. So I'm just going to use, in this case, right plane. So hover the mouse, Shift plus R, Shift plus R, made. Hope this macro could be useful in your workflow. You can find the download link for this macro in the description of this video. Thank you for your time.